a lead pencil, or you can use a regular pencil, or chewed up pencil, any type, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, this is the closest thing I had to me without having to go through my art box and make a mess. So what we're going to do, we're going to do light. When I mean light, I don't want you guys pressing down hard. If that's a habit you guys do, uh, when you start sketching a lot, uh, first thing they teach you is to lightly sketch uh, your lines out. So in this case, we're going to draw a rectangle. Okay. We'll do this one fairly big, just so we don't have to do too much detail. Okay. And this one's kind of um, uneven on the sides. It's not exactly the same. It's more like at an angle. And right here, we're going to start drawing his Batman ears. Okay. Now you can round up the top of his head right here. And like I said, when I go back to light sketching, go lightly draw down the center. This is going to be the center of his face. Okay. Uh, from you can choose any point in the middle. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna do a V. Okay. This is his nose right here. And um, just don't go too far off to the edge of, the, of his, the the head. But we're gonna draw another light line right here and another one right here. Now from the points at the top of the V, you're gonna go clear across. Okay, because that's gonna be his nose and then the top of the mask. And right here, you can curve it down, and that's going to be his chin. Now, in this one, I'm going to do some goofy faces on him. Um, you feel free to draw, you know, the mean Batman look. Uh, but in this one, I'm going to make a funny one. You have round eyes, you have big, bushy, mad eyebrows. Batman has a lot of shading around his eyes, like in my other video. So you can start putting some lines. Put some shading right there. Now you can also do the triangle like I did in the other one. And this triangle is going to be a little darker. So feel free to press a little harder or even put continue going over it until it gets darker and darker. So that has a frown right here. So go ahead and draw some lines. I'm just going to shade it in right here. Now, an old school Batman in a comic book, he'll have like this long face right here, it's mad, and you know, that, well that kind of looks pretty cool, what do you guys think? It's going to look funny, because I was going to draw like the regular, just like, like that, mad face, but whatever, this one came out nicely, so we're going to keep that, and Batman does have a butt chin, so go ahead and draw his cleft right there, okay, and since we already have this line right here for the center of his face, let's extend that just a tad bit. Okay, and we're gonna draw some light circles. Go ahead. And that's actually gonna be oval. So round and round and round. Okay. Now I didn't center this too well, but like I said, it's pencil. You can go back and erase it. But we're still gonna use this line for the center of his logo on his chest. And you're gonna draw the pointy ears first. Okay. For the bottom of that, I want you to draw another V at the bottom of his logo. Kind of curve into another V. Curve into another V on the other side as well. So it should look like that. Okay. On top side, you're going to draw another, another curve. So. Looks like the edge of his wing, so if you draw like a, almost like a C, right? For like me, you might want to flip it upside down. Get that curve like you did on the other side. That one came out really cool. So, like I said, this is a sketch. This is a little exaggerated. It's not proportioned like you would draw like in a comic book, but, but it's simple. And you guys will have fun drawing this. And then from here, you take a little more practice and you keep defining your style and your art. And these lines are going to be so simple for you. So right here is the end of his cape. Okay. And uh, we'll draw some like little mountains right here. Those are the folds of his uh, cape. Outside of his. So let's go 
one little mountain, two little mountains. So we kind of got his shoulders uh, forming in. Now his body, he is pretty buff, so you could draw like a square right here, just around his logo. And a smaller square rectangle on the bottom. These are going to be his abs. Okay. And then to the left, go to have his arms. You draw some circles there. And so this is his like biceps. So this is shoulder. And then lightly draw a longer rectangle. Those are going to be his biceps. Okay. This point right here are his elbows. smaller one, kind of curve right here if you're on the bottom, that's going to be his glove. Okay. Kind of go angle right here, this is going to be his abs right here. This is pecs. You can do the same thing that you did over here on this side, okay? Forearm, and then this is his. Um, that's where his glove goes. Okay. Now his cape does flow over his shoulder. Okay, so you have to you draw his, his cape over there. Just curve it out if you want. And from the line right here, you can just go. Start drooping it over his arm. And all this, you guys are gonna shade in. This is his belt line here. Square here. One more here. These are his little pockets. These are the ones that actually have stuff in it. And I mentioned my other one. We're gonna change this from a square to a circle. We'll draw B as a Batman. <laughs> it's all school Ninja Turtle status right there. Since this is the center, you draw like little, little ab muscles right here. Boom! Because it's ripped. And then you circle in on the side right here. Shading it in. This is the back of his cape, so it's always dark. And on this side as well. Kind of go back right here into his muscles, like defining the shapes a little more. And if you have an eraser, you can just start deleting these extra lines. If it's a bad you can go ahead and start filling it in. Pretty much your Batman, you guys. There you go. And that's with the goofy eyes, so <laughs> I just added my own twist to that. Like I said, you can add your own face on it, you can add your own mouth. It's totally up to you guys. As of right now, that's it for this guy's toys. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.